Let's take a look at some examples of triple bonds. So we're going to start off with nitrogen and we're talking about triple covalent bonds where the electrons are shared between atoms, between two nonmetals. So N2, this is a pretty important one, makes up 78% of the atmosphere that we breathe in. So nitrogen on the periodic table right here, it's in group 15. Elements in group 15, they have five valence electrons. These are electrons in the outer shell. They're the ones available to form chemical bonds. So since we have two nitrogens, we're going to have a total of 10 valence electrons. So if we distribute those valence electrons between the nitrogen atoms, the only way that each nitrogen can have eight valence electrons is if they share three pairs of electrons. And that's an example of a triple bond. Nitrogen gas, N2, also called diatomic nitrogen, that has a triple bond. We could also write that triple bond like this with lines. In here, each line, that represents a pair of electrons shared between the nitrogen atoms. Let's take a look at another triple bond, acetylene. So for acetylene, we also have a total of 10 valence electrons. So when we distribute them around the atoms, we end up with this structure here. And this line here, that's a pair of electrons shared between the carbon and the hydrogen. Hydrogen only needs two electrons for it to have a full outer shell. So the hydrogens are good. And if we look at each carbon, that'll have eight valence electrons. That's an octet. This has eight valence electrons, this carbon here. That's an octet. So this is the only way you can arrange these electrons so that you use 10 valence electrons and each carbon has an octet, each hydrogen has two. You could write it like this as well. And here again, each line represents two electrons shared between atoms. Let's look at one more. How about carbon monoxide? So carbon has four valence electrons, oxygen has six. Again, we have 10 valence electrons. So this is the only way we can distribute those valence electrons. So the carbon, that has eight valence electrons. Then the oxygen, that has eight valence electrons. And we've only used 10. So we have our triple bond here. Once again, this is with carbon monoxide. Pretty dangerous gas. Note that when we have triple bonds, we'll always have a linear molecule there around that bond because it really can't rotate or twist. This is Dr. B with three examples of triple bonds, triple covalent bonds. Thanks for watching.